Howdy. Howdy, mates. We're here to learn about science. Woohoo! Uh, so we're going over life science in a nutshell on my notes. So study. Um, we were learning about the cell's cytoskeleton and what makes up the cytoskeleton. So this is inside the cell. So we learned that there are um, uh, the sub you, the substructure of the of the sub substructure of the cytoskeleton consists of microfilaments and microtubules, as well as intermediate filaments. So these two um, microfilaments and microtubules are in the cytoplasm of the cell. Intermediate filaments are more in the nucleus. Um, and the cytoplasm too, but um, these we're learning we're learning the difference between microfilaments and microtubules. Ruben, go ahead and read about uh, microtubules because we already did microfilaments in the previous video. Uh, we got cut so they forces. Form, they, they form. The strength is stiff Hold on. and resist bending forces. Yeah, they're stiff and okay, but um, just start from the top. Uh, microtubules constructed from alpha and beta tubulin. The structure is helical lattice. Helical. Mm -hmm. uh, size is 20, 25 nanometer in diameter. Composition composed of subunits of protein tubulin. These subunits are termed as alpha and beta. The strength would be stiff and resist bending forces function microtubules are shaped similarly but are larger and help with cell functions such as mitosis and various cell transport functions right so in comparison with microfilaments they're larger and then um details uh, yeah. microtubules are composed of globular I mean, globe, globular mm -hmm. proteins called tubulin. Tubulin mo molecules are bead-like structures. They form uh, he heater row dimers of alpha and beta tubulin. A pro protofilament is a linear row of tubulin dimers, 12, Dimers. 17. Dimers. Protofilaments associate later, laterally to form a regular helical lattice. Microtubules determine the cell structure, forming the spindle apparatus, dividing chromosomes during cell division and mitosis. Microtubules provide transport mechanisms for vesicles and, uh, containing essential materials for the cell. They form rigid internal core. Um, mm, that is used by the ma microtubule associated protein MAP, um, and such as kines kinesin and dianin to generate force and movement in motile structures such as cilia and flagella. Um, a core of microtubules in the neural growth cone and axon also imparts stability and drives neural navigation and guidance. So um, those are some details about microfilaments and microtubules, which are part of the cytoskeleton of cells. Um, and then um, we le we learned we I put a bit of info about septins, septins, um, and so spec and spectrin. So these are. Um, also part of the cytoskeleton. So septins are a group of highly cons highly conserved GTP binding proteins. So it's a protein found in eukaryotes. Different septins form protein complexes with each other. These can assemble to um, filaments and rings. Septins can be considered part of the cytoskeleton. They function um, uh, as serving as a localized attachment site for other proteins, preventing diffusion of certain molecules from one cell compartment to another. 
For example, in yeast cells, they build a scaffolding to provide structural support during cell division and compart they compartmentalize parts of the cell. In yeast cells, they also, um, let's see. Okay, so they're basically a helper protein that associate with the cytoskeleton. Um, in this picture, we have a fluorescent micrograph of Saccharomyces cerevisiae cells. Uh, the green is the septins, red is the cell outline. So it's a cool picture um, showing how these proteins uh, uh, function in the, within the cell. Septins, um, this bar, the scale is 10 nanometers here so so a set a, so in the as the new cell um the two new cells form two daughter cells um you can see how the septum um functions between cells um they also we recruit um, other proteins, particularly chitinase to um, an enzyme that synthesizes chitin, thereby building up the primary septum, so, which is uh, a new cell wall or um, uh, the exterior of the cell. A secondary septum, beta glucans, manoproteins, assembles, Primary septum degrades during cell separation. So there's different proteins involved that help. Um, so as filament forming protein, septins can be considered part of the cytoskeleton. They form nonpolar filaments. Um, they associate with the cell membrane. They f interact with the actin and filaments and microtubules. They're present in most eukaryotes. Exceptions um, haven't really been observed in green plants, but they have been reported in red algae. Septin structure is eptins are P loop NTPase proteins ranging in weight from 30 to 65 kil is that kilo daltons. I don't know. Septins are highly conserved between different eukaryotic species. They're composed of variable length proline rich and terminus with basic phospho um, inositide binding motif important for membrane association, GTP binding domain, highly conserved septin. They have a unique domain, see terminal extension, including cold coil domain of very length. This diagram shows their, what they consist of, the protein itself. Um, they interact via respective GTP binding domains, via both their NSC termini. Different organisms express different number of septins, and from these symmetric oligo oligomers or um, multi uh, multi unit polymers are formed. The complexes associate forming nonpolar filaments or bundles. Uh, cages or ring structures in cells. So this is showing the N-terminal proline rich tip, then the C-terminal tip, cold coil, GTP binding domain. So it requires energy to, or GTP to function this protein. Septin unique element. So the part of the molecule that makes it unique or different. Um, <clears throat> mitotic spindles are those. They form a ring structure at the bud neck during cell division. They're involved in the selection of bud site, positioning of mitotic spindle, polarized growth, cytokinesis. So um, the septin cortex undergoes several changes throughout the cell cycle. Yeah. Um, so then, let's see, so visible substance structure is a distinct ring 15 minutes before bud emergence. After this emergence, the ring broadens, assuming shape of an hourglass round bud. Then in cytokinesis, it splits into a double ring. Which